Hi, this time I'll be making an extension that will make a regular job site table saw to a router table in seconds. First, I need to extend the table of my Dewalt table saw. I started by measuring the needed width and ripped that part from my 15mm thickness plywood scrap piece. Next, measure the final length of the main piece and the height of two vertical support parts. And with a miter saw, cut the size. The first test fit shows that a bit of chiseling is needed to make space for a table saw fence measuring indicator. Now it sits perfectly flat. Mark the place where vertical support pieces should be attached and glue it with wood glue. When the glue dried, pre drilled and secured with the wood screws. The main table saw extension structure is done. It is time to make a fixing mechanism. I'll use this aluminum profile hole and make an insert from the plywood. Those plywood pieces will be attached to the main part with a carriage bolt through the aluminum profile cutout. I need to recess the hole to hide the carriage bolt head because I forgot to make it before drilling the hole for the screw and I don't have a solid background for a Forstner bit center anymore, I used a template from the piece of scrap wood. And it worked just fine. Few taps with a hammer and the bolt are fixed plus sits flush with the surface. Added a locking nut on the each bolt and slide extension on the table saw. After tightened both locking nuts, the table extension was finished. It sits flush with the surface and it is very solid. Next, it needs to mount the palm router. Here the process is more or less straightforward. Unscrew the palm router base and use it as a template for all five holes. This time I do not repeat my previous mistake and I made a small recess for the washer and screw head first and only after that drill holes for the screws. Secured it with longer machine screws and used the washer to distribute a tension force in the wider plywood surface. To install a router bit is very easy without taking a palm router from its housing. Under the table left plenty of space for a dust collector, which I'll definitely make in the future. This table router attachment extension thing to my table saw is absolutely perfect solution for me, for at least three reasons. First, I don't use a table router so often that I need to have it in a corner ready to use. So I could detach and save some space. Second, the router table solution as the attachment on the table saw is great because I no need to build any new table where I could mount the router. I could use my current power tool which has a dedicated place in my small workshop. And third, which wraps up to previously mentioned, I'm working in a very small workshop where every square centimeter counts. By keeping at that project or time use tools in place only, I could make the wall building process faster, safer and more enjoyable. Here is the evidence that the table router makes its job very well. And in the matter of seconds, the router table becomes a regular table saw again. I hope this video was helpful. 
If you are the first time here, please hit that subscribe button for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching it.